Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. From Calgary Wall to Balakot Strike, the French Origin Mirage 2000 remained Indian Air Force's favorite option for the deep penetration strike. The French built jet can be scrambled in less than 6 minutes, making it India's number one air warrior until Rafale joined the inventory. What exactly sets Mirage apart is its high drag and low wing loading clubbed with high percentage of thrust. The Mirage 2000 has a maximum speed of Mach 2.2 and can travel 1550 km with drop tanks. The plane weighs 7500 kg and has total takeoff weight of 17000 kg. The flight height is capped at 59,000 feet. This gives Mirage 2000 an advantage in quick operation. The fighter aircraft has a fly-by wire flight control system and has Sextant V130 HUD which displays data related to flight control, navigation, target engagement and weapon firing. In terms of armament, the Mirage 2000 can carry laser-guided bombs, air-to-air missile, air-to-surface missile and has Thompson Radar Doppler Multi-Target Radar on board. The Mirage 2000 was inducted into Indian Air Force in 1985 to counter the American F-16 inducted by Pakistan. Indian Air Force purchased around 50 fourth-generation Mirage 2000 C and B fighters. In 2011, India signed a $2.4 billion contract with France to upgrade existing Mirage 2000 jets to Mirage 2005 MK2 standard. The upgrade includes a new mission computer with high memory, new radar, advanced navigation and electronic warfare systems, advanced communication and identification systems. The work on avionics and system was done by Thales, while for the missiles, a separate contract was given to MBDA to provide and integrate MICA air-to-air missiles. The contract with the SALT and Thales worth $2.4 billion. A separate contract was signed with MBDA for 450 MICA missiles worth $1.23 billion. The heart of upgrade was Thales RD Wide 2 radar, which allowed for very long range engagement of targets in air, automatic tracking of targets, mapping of targets on the ground using Doppler beam sharpening techniques, and the ability to track and engage targets which are moving on the ground. The new helmet mounted sights enable pilots with a display inside their helmet. Pilots were able to see superimposed radar data without having to reference any of the display inside the cockpit. In operational terms, this means that in case of air combat, the pilot who is looking through their helmet can direct weapons by merely pointing their head in the direction of what needs to be hit as opposed to having to maneuver the entire jet in the direction of target. Pilot need to just see target, lock on it and launch weapons. The Mirage 2000 features a new night vision compatible all digital state of art class cockpit with multicolor multifunctional displays replacing bulky analog gauges. The new cockpit is neater, more user friendly and far simpler to maintain. The MICA missile integrated with Mirage 2000 is a multi-mission air to air missile system that is, it can cope with beyond visual range and short range combat situation and exhibits very high performance in both roles. The weapon covers beyond visual range situation and in addition offers two guidance system with its two interoperable seekers which is RF MICA with radar seeker providing all weather shoot up shoot down capability and IR MICA with a dual wave band imaging infrared seeker surpassing latest generation air to missiles. The MICA IR is a heat seeking IR version which gives no warning to opponent which makes it very lethal. French pilots who used MICA IR over Livia reports that its sensor alone is useful input to their systems and its passive seeker with lock on after launch means that it can be fired from beyond visual range at enemy aircraft without creating any warning from the opposing fighters radar warning receivers. As reported in October last year, 25 Mirages have been upgraded to 2005 standard. The program will take another 2-3 to three years to finish. Indian Air Force intends to maintain the Mirage 2000 fleet in service till 2035. However, the South Aviation has closed the production line for the fighter jet. Incidentally, India had twice missed out the opportunity to manufacture the plane in India. The Indian Air Force has to resort to Christmas tree, a term used in aviation industry for planes that get their parts from another aircraft. 
in September 2021, Indian Air Force has acquired 24 second-hand Mirage 2000 fighters for a contract worth 27 million euros. These aircrafts will be scavenged to secure parts and spares to maintain the existing Mirage fleets. In November 2021, Indian Air Force also received two second-hand Mirage 2000 trainer aircraft from France at its Gwalior Air Base, which will be also upgraded to Mirage 2005 MK2 standard by HL. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.